thing we're going to do is we're going to add our butter, our softened butter, and our granulated sugar and mix them together until, you know, they are kind of light and fluffy. <laughs> so I've added two sticks of butter and chopped, it, it's softened. Uh, luckily I have a lovely window with the sun is shining so it doesn't take long for my butter to warm up. Got my little tip here. Once I finish getting my sticks of butter all cut, I'm going to um, use it and help with greasing my pan right here. And that adds the butter. So that's my little tip. I learned that from home back way back many, many, many years ago. <laughs> but after, the, after you get the butter in, the next thing you're gonna do is add your, and this is an ungodly amount of sugar, three cups of sugar. So let me add the ungodly amount of sugar. So just put that in your mind when you're eating this. It is whew, very sweet. So what we're going to do after we add our sugar and we have our butter, we're going to cream it all together with our, our hand mixer. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. So your sugar mixture, really that's what it is, sugar mixture is all combined. Now I'm going to add five eggs into our mixture. All right, how are we looking? Next we're going to be adding in the flour and the baking powder. That was three cups. This is two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, so everything has been mixed. We've got the sugar, the butter, and the flour, the baking powder. So now I'm going to add, oh yeah, and the eggs of course. So now it's time to add in some lovely pineapple juice. We got three fourths of a cup of pineapple juice. And two teaspoons, I believe it's two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla extract. So we will combine these ingredients and then we are pretty much done with the base of our cake. All right, we've prepared the pan which entails greasing it really well and also putting um, flour, dusting it with flour. Now, we're gonna make a little um, glaze that's gonna go at the bottom where the pineapples are gonna be. So what we're gonna put is, we're gonna put a half a cup of melted butter right on in there. And also a half a cup of brown sugar. And then you're just going to mix it up, and I'm going to grab my little mixing, my little, which I can't think of, oh, there it is, too much stuff in my drawer, here we go. And then I'm just going to mix it up, my little mixer here, there we go. And this is going to be the glaze that is going to make the pineapples adhere to the cake. It almost looks like caramel. It's really cool looking. All right. Now, since I've done that, I'm going to put this over to the side and I'm going to take my pineapples. Really, you could have pineapple rings or however you want to do it. I had pineapple chunks in my um, pantry. I'm not going to go out and buy pineapple rings just so it'd be pretty. So I went ahead and used my different uh, looking bunt pan so that I think the little chunks look good in it. So I'm just going to put my pineapple chunks in the little section so that it'll just kind of fall in there. And um, I'm hoping it'll turn out really good. And I will let you know how it goes. So I'm just going to stick my little pineapples all in there. Now you also could put some maraschino cherries in here. 
I'm not a big fan of maraschino cherries, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but if you do like maraschino cherries, um, by all means, go ahead, put them in there. So I've got, I'm going to put another thing of pineapple all the way around since it's chunks, so it'll have more pineapple-y goodness in it. Plus, I always think a pineapple upside down cake only in the summer. I have never made this in the fall or in the winter. It's for strictly summer, my summer cake. So, I'm almost done. A couple more. And then here is my pineapples. They're all stuck to the, in the little swirls. These are really, I love these bunt pans. They came from William Sonoma. I love them. All right, our new. Let's so our brown sugar and butter at the sitting at the bottom, just collecting calories as we speak. And we got our pineapples in. We're just going to put the um, batter on top and then put it in the oven at 325. We're going to cook it for an hour and a half, and we will have some pineapple upside down cake. So now the batter's all in there. Tap it. And we're ready to go.